What's going on guys, it's G Sir and welcome back to another episode of my career mode series with Akrin Dan Stanley. And if you haven't watched my other episodes, make sure to check out in the description where I put the playlist so you can watch every episode uh, up to now. Uh, let's take a look at where we stand in the table before jumping into this first game. As you can see, we won both games. So right now we're sitting firmly in top, uh, which I don't expect us to do throughout this whole season, I'm gonna be totally honest. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we have already lost one game in the cup, but now it's time for another league game, and uh, let's see what team we're gonna rock for today. Our default team or our fitness squad? It's probably gonna be our fitness squad. Let's see. Uh, our center backs are a bit tired, so perhaps uh, the options are not very bright, uh, of course, in this team. So I guess this is just the team we're gonna have to rock with. Uh, it's our second team with uh, some tired center backs. This is probably gonna be pretty difficult. Let's jump into the game. Brilliant. Sick to the big Since when does people in League 2 score free kicks? That's like 35 yards, man. Are you serious? Right, something needs to happen. McCartan, you're going on instead of Bowerman. And also Jones, the center back, is going in for Kwanzaa for some refreshment in the back. Bruna is going in instead of Windass. Oh. You're taking the piss! Oh my god! I'm just so tired of this game sometimes. Just I just don't understand why I'm playing it sometimes. Like they just EA just pisses you off. It's absolutely amazing. They have accepted a transfer offer for Sam Gallagher, although he is going to have very high wages because you know he's used to be in uh, Southampton. Where he's paid very much. I am gonna pull it down a bit and see if he can agree to that. Uh, maybe he won't. Maybe he will. I'm just hoping that he will, but I don't know. Maybe he won't. They rejected a cool stock then after uh, because you know they're uh, accept an offer from other teams, and I spoke about that in the last episode. Also, uh, they haven't really agreed with the price tag on Fenelon. They said 450. I don't believe it's worth that much. I'm gonna try. 250 and see what they say about that. They've also accepted the offer for Morris, uh, the 200k offer that I put in the last episode. And uh, I, I am very keen on playing Silent this player. I really do want to do that. But uh, I don't know, he's a bit expensive as well in the way just because Norwich is not a poor team exactly. But you know, he's probably gonna be a better player than Gallagher uh, because, at least in my style of playing. So I, I want him more, uh, but he's he's very expensive in comparison, at least, to uh, Gallagher. Right, he's just saying that if I get this money that I thought he would, uh, then I can have him. I mean, I'll, I'll put it, then we can choose when we uh, when we have summed up all the players. Also, Fenlon has got accepted 4K. It's all they are very expensive, so we are gonna have to see which one. Uh, I'm gonna take in the end. So it's now time for our second game of today, and uh, I'm gonna play with our first team. As you can see, they're all pretty fit. Jones is a bit tired, but Atkinson, our uh, other center back, is also as tired, and Jones is just so much better. So, of course, I'm gonna play Jones. And hopefully, we can get a win out of this game because we do need so when we play with our best team. Because, uh, you know, we can't do, we just aren't gonna be able to do that every game. So, hopefully, we can get a win now when we actually do. So, yeah, let's do this. Oh, come on, Mingoya. Look at him go. Look at him go. Shoot it. Referee. That's a penalty. Yes, yes, yes. Mingoya with the run. Gornell is gonna take the penalty. Our striker that uh, has a good shot on him. We know that uh, because he is a good scorer. Maybe not the paciest, but he's a good scorer. He should be able to put this one away. If it's anyone, it's him. Come on. There we go. 1 0. Gornell doesn't disappoint. Yes. Mm, 
No freaking way. You, you, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. My goalkeeper has the weakest hands I've seen, man. My nan would have said that. What is this? Look at this. Nah, just, just fucking do that. Brilliant. Not there. Not the ball is not there. Oh my god. Boom. Kwanzaa, please, can you choose a bit better time next time to get injured, okay? That would be great. Okay, we don't... We don't have a center back in our bench. Why the fuck have I not to put a center back there? Oh my god, how would I do this? Alright, I'm gonna move Connolly down to center back and take in uh, Joyce as CDM because Connolly can play as a center back. So... Yay, that's just brilliant. McCartan, he's away. Use your speed, McCartan. There we go. There we go. Near post. Boom. 2 1. Yes. McCartan is a beast. Gornell. Gornell, use your speed. This is like the exact same thing. Come on, Gornell. Come on. Near post. Come on, get it in. Get it in, son. Yes. There we go. Maybe not as clean as McCartan, but you know what? It doesn't matter because. All that matters in the end is that the ball is in the back of the net. 3-1, look at the crowd going wild. It didn't really go as planned, but you know what? <laughs> it ended up in the goal, and yeah, 3-1. Boom! Boom! McCartan again, McCartan again, McCartan again, McCartan again, goal again. There we go, 4-1. McCartan is too good for this for this team, he is, is he? I don't know what you're doing here, McCartan. Surely he is, he is. It's, it's a mistake. He's playing for Chelsea in reality, for the youth academy team or something like that. Their upcoming star team, and then somehow the team uh, or the game glitched, and now he's playing in Accrington Stanley. I don't know how that works. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maguire's coming in for Whitehead, and uh, then we're also. I'm gonna test something out. I'm gonna play Hasseldine, who usually plays on the left wing, uh, on the striker there instead of Gornell, and see if he can perform at the striker position because that would be interesting. Also, Naismith going in for Mingoya. Just kidding. Ah, <laughs> uh, totally forgot about the injury. Well, let's just move on and uh, pretend that did never happen. Hasseldine playing McGuire through the two substitutions. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That's what you're supposed to do when I take you into the game. Show me, prove me that I sh that you should be in this first team squad. Hasseldine. Oh, look at that speed. He actually almost got to the ball. But that is it. The game is over. 5-1. to one. That is an incredible score for us. After the first game, after the loss, we have now proven that we can do well. And look at the stats. We just outplayed our opponents in this game uh, so let's see if we can pick up some players before this episode ends all right guys so there are three players that has been accepted um, you know our offers of course we have Morris we have Gallagher and we have Fenlon let's take a look at how they look at the players and then you guys are gonna get to decide which player I'm gonna buy for the next episode we have Fenlon I paid 250 for him or the bid is on 250 and uh, you know, he has all over decent stats, pretty good speed, that's probably his best side, which is why I'm like feeling that he could be a potentially good player. Um, the, the wage I paid for him is like kind of high, so that's not that good, and also of course the price is kind of high as well. Then we have Gallagher, a good strength, but not the best at pace, you know, I, like I am conscious, ignore the pace because it's not that good. Although we are only playing 60k for him. And, uh, but the wages are pretty high, it's over 2,000, but you know, only 60k, and uh, of course Southampton usually has good youth players, so it could be good, also has 63 rated, or you know, he has 63 rated, and Fenlon is only 60 rated. At last we have Morris, uh, I don't know really about this guy, we paid way too much for him to be honest, 200k to just 50k less than Fenelon. And uh, his strength, his pace, it's all its all decent, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, you know, thinking that he's, uh, 
you know, 57 rated and stuff like that. Don't really know. Uh, personally, I think it's between Gallagher and Fenlon, but you guys can have to let me know in the comments. So let me know who to buy. So guys, this is the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then it would be great if you could just drop a like. So I know that you've enjoyed this uh, video. Also subscribe if you haven't already because I'm gonna keep on uploading and when the summer comes I'm just gonna start like spit spitting videos every direction and you're just never gonna you're gonna see me pretty much every day from then on I hope at least and that's what I'm planning and also uh, Tell me who to buy of course now. I'm gonna see you guys later I wish you a good day and I'll see you later. I said that twice I do that so often, you, you guys don't even understand. I just cut, that, cut it out most of the times, but sometimes I just don't bother to do it. I'm just not gonna bother to do it now. I've fucked up so much. Let's just say goodbye. Goodbye!